I mean, Farrell and head coach Steve Borthwick uh, will come over to live questions. Who would like to go first, please? Thank you. Ellie, we'll come to you. Thanks. I'm clearly disappointed with the result. As we discussed before the game, we're playing against a, a Scotland team that effectively controlled this fixture in recent years, and I thought they were very good today. They, did, they didn't get an awful lot of chances, but the off chances they got, they took ruthlessly. Um, now, for us, we need to make sure we, we limit those chances, but but also being able to shut them down. From from our perspective, I think we saw some growth, particularly in the attacking side of the game. I think we teams started to look like had, had points in them, had try scoring potential. Um, the game was quicker, in the game, but clearly we're disappointed with the result. We want to win. We want to win. We're disappointed we didn't. We'll have a good look at it. And make sure we're better next week. Yeah, well, I, I think the, also there was a couple of crucial turnovers that hurt us. I think there was a, a couple of the line out that hurt us, and we gave them a bit too much space um, on their kick return to get out their own 22, and, and, and they moved the ball and attacked very well from deep. Thank you. I think it, as you look at the moments in that game, and I, and I look at the team, and, and we'll debrief this properly with the team on Monday, but look at the team, we were hit by a couple of scores that came out of, out of nowhere really in that, in that first half, and I thought the team responded incredibly well, because I think if you'd rewound a bit, that the team wouldn't have reacted the way it did today. Um, so to go in at half-time in the position they were in, I thought that's immense credit to the players. I think you're right. Twenty points to twelve up, and in control of the game, that we shouldn't we shouldn't be letting that game game go away from us. And we did, so we'll have a good look at it. And, and I think this is part of the growth of a team. So as you go go through some pain, and we don't we, you don't want to, but I think there was certainly enough there on that pitch today that said well, I can see some aspects we're working upon now, and I also stand out and see some things we need to improve. Upon. We got ourselves into that position. We could have gone and won that game, and we didn't. And we'll, we'll look at that to make sure we are better that going forward. Steve, what do you make of the defensive effort of the side, particularly a couple of Scotland tries, quite a number of these tackles? Yeah, it was a good one. We slipped off, a, uh, slipped off a number. I suppose when you're trying to bring in a new defensive system, that takes time. Um, we'll make sure we keep working as hard as we can to to um, to improve that. That's, I think. Sometimes you, you don't want to, but there's going to be. You don't want them to be there, but there's going to be mistakes as you're trying to build a team like this and trying to to implement new systems. Um, we'll make sure we're better next week. I just ask one to you, Owen, please. I fully appreciate it's the start of a new era, room for improvements and all that sort of thing. But for a tournament where everyone speaks about how important the momentum is, how frustrating is it to be at the start of another Six Nations and having lost your first game and having to try and play catch up? As, as Steve said, the, the result's disappointing, obviously. Um, we're, at, we're at the start of our journey at the minute. Uh, as I said, over the past 11 days that we've been together, we feel like there's been there's been some growth, and we feel like there's been some growth today in the performance, but ultimately we said that we'd look at ourselves after this game and want to get better regardless of the result, and, and that's still the case. Um, there's some stuff that we can be proud of today, and... Uh, a lot of credit's got to go to Scotland in the way in the way that they played, but um, it, it it allows us to look at our, look at ourselves uh, real really well. And I guess there was always going to be some errors um, coming from our first game together in, in new systems, like Steve said. But um, I know I know that these boys will work hard to make sure that that they fix them. Well, I think I think the, the, I said I'd reduce every minute we possibly could, and I think we did that. And credit to the players for what, how hard they've worked and, and how they've embraced. Because I asked them to change things and do things differently, and I think the players have really embraced that. Couldn't ask more from the players over the last eleven days. Now, what we'll do again, the, the as you look at that and you're standing in, 
stand back from it. We got in a position where we should have gone and won that test match. And it, it whilst I'm really pleased with the response in the first half of to a couple of setbacks, really pleased because that wasn't always the response that happened previously. We got ourselves in a position where we should have gone and won the test match in the second half. And that's what we want to do. We want to be a really good team. And really good teams will go on and win that and wouldn't let the opposition back in. 20 points to 12 up, we shouldn't let the opposition back in. We did. Um, and then we still had another opportunity where we were in the lead again. And, and unfortunately, we let them back in with a penalty that time. We'll be looking closely at those. And, and you, you can't let good teams have those opportunities to come back into a game. Um, so if I was sat here going, there was nothing to pull from that game and couldn't see how we'd have won the game, then that'd be a different story. I think from as I sit here, I can see what we should have done, how we could have done things differently that would have allowed us to win the game. Really pleased for him, and um, and also really pleased for the, say the, the team. We're dis we're, don't get me wrong. We are disappointed with the loss. We want to win. We want to make sure we deliver. And I, I said that when I sat here five six weeks ago. We want to deliver. Do I see signs of improvement yet? Yeah. People like Max came in and did really well. Oli Hassel Collins, his, his debut today. I thought he did he did really well. And it, there was other really strong performances acro across the team, which. Which is a positive because again, I wouldn't say you could. As you look back, you, you, I was looking for those performances and I couldn't see him. Um, so really pleased for him, and and for us, there's things there's things we've got to build upon. I think we've always got people competing for places, but one of, one of the key things here is that the team's got to be in the centre of this. So the, everybody wants to play. The, the key element is that we build a team, that and that's that's a, that's a squad of players that, that will, will fill those shirts each week. And my job is to pick the right guys each week, but we're going to make sure that we are building a team here, a team that understands how it wants to play, has a team ethos that works hard for each other, and um, and that that's the thing that takes takes a bit of time. You know, the systems you'll put in place, yes. The way you want to play, yes. But building that team ethos, that's the critical thing as we move forward. Steve, is this a more difficult jump than you anticipated it being when you agreed to take it off? Um, I, I, I've not compared it with, in the sense of, of that. I know it, I know it's a challenge. I know it's a, it's a big challenge. I was like you watched those games in, in the autumn. Um, but what I see today, again, I, I'll say... If our, the team in the home conceded a couple of scores early, didn't didn't come back from that. Now these guys did and they showed a great uh, resolve in that first half and to come into the position they were in. And again, I thought came out and, and the first part of the second half were really strong. Unfortunately, we let the team, the opposition back in. And we shouldn't do that. And we'll make sure we don't do that going forward. No, I think is if you go look closely at the video and what what we do. The we want to be a really good team. I think that's the, the main message here. We want to be a really successful team that wins test matches, wins a lot of test matches. And I think when you get to that level, then you don't give the the opposition the opportunities we did. Now, um, I say and this this for me is is a, the first step. Now, and I said it before the game. I said we're playing against a strong Scotland team that will be very confident coming in and control this fixture in recent years. And, and unfortunately, they, they got the win again today, which is, which is um, really... I'm disappointed for the supporters who I thought were incredible for us today. Um, but we'll make sure in eight days' time when we're back here, we're a, we're a better team. Oh, Steve, can I just ask, um, <clears throat> you seem to make greater strides today with your attacking game and your defensive game. Yeah, well, I think the, the the way we handed the ball to the opposition gave them space, ultimately, and it, a, a team that's got that attacking strength of Scotland, you, you don't want to give them the space that we gave them because that immediately puts your defence under stress, 
and so I look at, I go back and look at how we handed that ball, the ball to them and what we're going to do better going in in the future. I always knew we were trying to implement new systems in so many different areas. You know, we've we've effect, we've effectively got a new scrum coach, a new forwards coach, new attack, new defence, new head coach. But what our job is to make to produce a team that delivers. Um, we'll make sure is that we we go away and and and. And, and make sure we're better next week. As I say, I think at, at 20 points to 12, I was thinking, right, now we'll push on. And unfortunately, we let them back in. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, again, we'll learn from that and make sure we don't let teams back in like that. Adam, is it, is it too simple to sort of summarise it as tempo? Say, I think your attack every seems to be quick. The way you made them all is the rocks. I'm trying to get what, yeah. what you were well, trying to achieve. Well, ultimately, at this point, I, I think it's it's clear to say right now that, that England's set piece in recent times has not been strong, and you always want to have a strong set piece. You always want to have a strong scrum and a strong maul. Now those are going to take time to build, um, and we're, but we're going to persevere with those. That, that those things don't happen quickly. Now what we're going to do is 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 develop that. You know, England hasn't had a strong maul for a few years now. So, but what we could do is make sure that we get better, and um, so that we have different weapons in our game. Well, on, on, on the field, what is it over the last 11 days that you feel the coaches have brought in, or the players have brought in, that have allowed you to take out of there in a way that actually weren't before? Well, as as you'd expect, uh, with a, with a new setup, it's all been new, and I think I think the work that's been put in um, by everyone over the last 11 days, and I think the buy-in and the um, excitement around getting to work has been has been fantastic. I think there's a there's an understanding of how much work we've got to go as well, and there's a, there's there's an excitement around around doing that. As we said before, regardless of the result today, uh, which is disappointing, we we know that um, we were we were going to look to get better, and um, that's that's the position that we're in now, and and that's what we'll turn up on Monday and do. Thanks, and we'll finish with James. Thanks. Oh, as as I've, I've said during the week, um, a lot of, a lot of people focus on focus on partnerships and 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 uh, individuals, I guess. And what what we're looking to do is, is get better as a team. Uh, we're looking at the whole picture and how and how we make sure the whole the whole picture attacks and making sure that there's a, a when the team's on the front foot and there's there's a flow to it. It feels it feels really good, and we've got to look at how we get more of that. Thanks very much, Willie. End the live press conference. The mix zone is now open downstairs. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.